going on YouTube? It's your boy Sam from Team Sam Rex One here with Nerdy Jersey. <laughs> and today, guys, you know what, bro? I'll let you do the intro, man. I don't want to do the intro. You got it, man. Fine. All right, we're here with Jesse Cotton, YCS Knoxville, Tennessee champion. Is this your second win? Second win. Cannot be bought. Got it wrong. I have two wins. Boy. Now, two wins. Congratulations, bro. Yes. Congratulations. Uh, how does it feel to have two uh, two under your belt? It's really nice, especially because I've had two finals the last six months. This is my third final in six months. Yeah, so right now you have... And I've gone second twice now, so... Yeah, I just, and especially with Thunder, so... Yeah. Over, it was overdue for me to win, especially with Thunder. I feel like it was a good arc. Yeah, it's uh, it's well-deserved. Uh, you're also a national champion, right? I am not a national champion. Oh, oh okay, okay. So, sorry, that's a mistake. Sorry. No, you were just <laughs> trying to make Gabe feel better, but... He has no reason to. Okay. <clears throat> Gabe sucks. Uh, okay, let's just start with your deck ball. Uh, so two Phantasmes, I wanted to play this for uh, Salmon Great and Striker. Dedicated my entire side deck, or almost my entire side deck for combo decks, so I felt like this was fine for main. It's still good for other decks too, going second, so really good. Uh, I had three in there, but like I, at 8 a.m. I had a new card for the deck. Uh, 8 a.m. in the event. Like I was in the shower, thought of some, thought of some ideas and put cards in the deck, which I'll explain later. Uh, and I like was on 44 cards, I'm like, eh, I'll just take one of these out and make it 43. Because like, I really didn't want to play like that many cards. But it was good. Uh, no regrets there. Three solar, should be standard. One hawk. Uh, I think one hawk's been pretty correct recently. Um, you don't really need it for grinds because war adds it back. And like you don't need to make like two classes in one like a lot, so it's fine. It's like, not to get the draw. Uh, only with solar. And if you have solar, like you have so many chaos monsters, you're fine. Two darks, two roars, three standard at this point, three OG, and duo. So that's pretty standard. Uh, Danger Engine should be pretty standard by now. I don't think I need too much explaining to do. Bigfoot's still crazy. Uh, like, again, Striker Mind X, if you like have Nessie or a way to get, or just Bigfoot. Uh, if you just go Phoenix, get to the Bigfoot. Phoenix, discard Bigfoot, target the Anchor. You can Anchor or whatever, and the Bigfoot pop Mime. And Mine, and that's like an out, because a lot of the time people say, how do you have Mine against Striker? There's so many ways. Because uh, even when they have like Anchor or Mine, like, it doesn't matter. Uh, level 8 as well, and different names. Like, sometimes you're going to. Some people tell me why they cut it, but like, uh, sometimes they'll have a hand of all dangers. Your Jackal needs to summon something besides these two to get into a Saryuja. So that's why you gotta play stuff like this. And then a late as well, just come up. It's also 3k, which is nice. 3 white, 3 black. Uh, the Guard Dragons are the heart of this combo, or heart of the deck now, so uh, max out on them. This is insane. It's like Reborn Tengu Dragons. It's so broken. Uh, no regrets at all about playing 3 3. Uh, especially because like you can side out a black and it's still like your old engine which is still good. This was amazing. I opened a four and three of them a lot. It just doesn't matter. The deck's so powerful. It's more important to see it than to see multiples. Also, I mean if you draw multiples, you're okay using dangers because they can just get discarded. Like on the finals, I had just three white dragons and I was okay with it getting discarded because it doesn't really matter. Best card in deck. You need explaining. Uh, and then one of each of the dragon cards to the combos, which are all insane. No reason to cut any of them. Uh, so this is like kind of the spice. So I don't know whose idea it was to play these. To be honest, I can't really get credit where it's due, unfortunately. I th it may have been um, Cameron Neal or Christian Arena. I honestly can't tell. But I knew they were playing it. And uh, they were they had some like weird combos and stuff. And it was like a different Thunder deck than what I'm using. And I didn't really like that because like, I like the actual Thunder cards. And they have a lot of synergy with each other with the Chaos stuff. So I didn't want to play Crusade deck. I uh, also felt they were like bad dangers almost. But then at 8 a.m. in the shower, I kind of thought, okay, what if I cut the bad Crusadia? Just play Reclusia because it helps you. It, it does a combo. It does combo into the Guard Dragons with Draco, and it's also good going second. So just three of these, and then you're one like Garnet, even though it's not a Garnet. Uh, this was really good for me because I didn't like draw too many of them and brick on them, but they were strong to draw as well. Um, versus Salmon Great, drawing them, drawing one of them is just nuts. Uh, that came up twice for me. Uh, in those games, I like won by landslide that was not even close um that was like my top four match it was done so fast it was a huge blowout for selling great and then uh, if you didn't see it coming three seconds late so it's 40 monsters three spells uh yeah i just threw these four in and took out a phantasmine last minute okay awesome and uh your main deck was perfect uh maybe not like it, again it was very late last minute like, the additions so maybe i refined more around the crusade engine I don't know. I haven't given it too much thought. I haven't lost. I didn't lose a single match in the tournament. So, did you ever miss the prize card? Uh, twice, yes, I did need it, but uh, I sold them, 
and I was could never justify spending money on it because like it comes up sometimes, but it's never like that important. That I don't want to spend that much money on it, so I decided to just forego it. Uh, guard dragons, these cards are insane. So Pisty now, so so Pisty is like the new addition to the deck, right? Like uh, the yeah, it's just more vulnerable than the guard dragons now. Uh, Crusadia Magius, I just turn your guy and your Lucian into this. Someone the dangerous. Here's the Rook Drago. Got plays. Uh, got the Nightmare Package. This was nice. I wanted to play Cerberus, but I had to cut it for the Magius. Um, got the combo pieces, like, for your, for the standard, like, Baby Dragon play. I played this over B-Cop, uh, because B-Cop effect wasn't coming up for me. And this is Light. It just specifically came up when he had, had a hand of specifically three Dangers and Black Dragon. Because if you go Danger and Danger, summon this, then summon a Link 3, then you can Black, and then you can play. But it didn't come up for me this tournament, but in the regionals it did, so I decided to just, uh... Play this because B like B cop effect is so just irrelevant. Uh, Heretic seals cards nuts. Uh, I tribute someone over a lot like a lot of your bad hands. People don't realize like aren't that good. Like uh, if you open up like Thunder Dragon Roar and Black, you can actually just do so much. People don't know about it because you have to tribute over this and someone from the deck. Uh, like it makes the like draw multiple babies not that bad or your bad hands better. And people just don't realize that. And I think that's one big issue people have with the deck. And then two card that should be banned. The Link version of Ancient Fairy Dragon. Uh, Colossus. We got Thunder Deck. And then these two. Um, yeah. You need to play these two specifically because mine is in the format. If you don't like, play these two specifically, you just get raped by that deck. Mm. Pretty awesome. All right, so the extra deck is perfect as well? No changes? Yes, extra deck. Extra deck is very tight. Like, the only two uh, cards you can even argue for are Santa Fond and Cerberus. Uh, as much as I do like Cerberus... I just didn't have space, and I just cited the Santa Fond. Um, I don't think that it's that important to me, especially because Solid's so easy. Uh, Santa Fond came up twice for me, um, but like I don't think I really needed it that bad. Like both times I played in Solid was 2-0, but like if, if I, I could, don't think I even needed the Santa Fond, but it was there. Like I, I, I'm maybe it's worth cutting, but it's just one spot in the, in the extra deck for a potential blow for Solid, so I, I have it in there. What made you want to play here for first pass decks? Where you just didn't play Didn't play uh, Mystic Mine is one. You need more outs to that. Uh, also, the you're not playing like Dark Matters. Like that that wasn't like an out to monsters to steal their monster with Cipher or swing over with 4K twice. Unicorn is now a new out. Uh, also, there's, like baiting out traps like Fog Blades and non destruction because of Dengarsu. It just comes up a lot. Uh, I like the Unicorn Pass X2, but you just couldn't uh, make an argument for it with all the other cards in the deck. Also, switch your side. Two Eradicator, shout out to my misprint from Aria that says it hits for 38 turns. It's pretty crazy. 38 Wait, turn Eradicator. That? Yeah. 38 turns? Yeah, 38 turns. <laughs> Holy moly. 30, wow, it's crazy. <laughs> Broken Eradicator, crazy. best in the game. Uh, how did you resolve that card? Uh, I never did. <laughs> okay. Uh, I mean, I, I have been testing like a lot, and the card is just instantly game. Um, I only played two because I didn't have space, and like I really built this deck not as much for Striker. I only sided five cards for Striker in mine decks. I didn't think I'd play that many, and I felt like I already had a really good matchup. I did need to address it specifically because mine existed, so I did play stuff for it. But uh, so it was just this and three twin. But yeah, like this card is still really good. Um, this is it's just insane for Striker. Like I only played two Strikers, I think, and both were like pretty blowout. So like. One of them I know what he's playing either, so I decided him for combo, and then he was playing striker, but I still won the game. And then other one, like I just won in like eight minutes. And he just I won game one very fast, game two we just didn't have a race, so I just blew him out. Um, I think I only played two striker, yeah. Um, yeah, and then I played t uh, three twin over three eradicator. Uh, it just covers more hits the floodgate decks like Draco up here. I did play Draco. Uh, didn't draw it, but like this would have been nice. I actually, just like, barely saw any of this stuff. Uh, and then stuff for combo, three Lancio, which should be standard. Uh, so this is kind of different. This is like my favorite card. Uh, this actually won me the YCS last time. I thought it was going to be the what, what win me the YCS this time, but in the losing the game, I drew it. Uh, this card is insane. I love this card. It's just like strike going second. Uh, top four, my opponent just like had a lot of sound great cards, so I held this. He goes Dweller Standby, I go Gamma. It sucks for him. Dweller's negated. Then I go Phoenix, pop the Rage anyway we had, and then he just loses. Like it was just in so insane. Um, and then obviously versus uh, combo deck, he's really good at stopping plays, hitting the mermaid, hitting any thunder engine to try and hope that it, hope that it ends the turn. It is like so solemn strike, so it's not that easy to play through. Uh, it is the most impactful non-floodgate uh, hand jab easily. 
Uh, I considered Roll for the Mirror, but it's just very weak for Zorkust, where this is... All my hand traps I played, I wanted to have dual coverage for Orcust and Thunder. Droll did not have that. Uh, two no materials. Uh, kind of wish I played third over this, maybe, I'm not sure. But this card's really good, too, hitting the Nightmare up top uh, for game. Like, it's just instantly game, uh, if they don't have an answer to this. Uh, and against Thunder, you can just hit various... Like, it, Thunder, there's no one good spot to hit it. Depends. It very much depends on their hand, but, like, if you hit it at the right time, it just... Hurts them either a lot or ends their turn. So this card is really strong. I like it a lot. Um, and then maybe I just play max out on it. It's just it's so hard to fit the space in. Uh, and then play the, the Santafon, as I said. So Santafon says, your opponent can't summon from the grave, can't be shot by card effects, and against 100 attack for every monster in both players' graves. So it's just so insane. Like Necro Valley card? Yeah, so it's Necro Valley, huge, and can't be killed by card effects. So it is like very strong with Salmon Grade. It's like broken, but this deck already just has such a good matchup, so maybe it's not worth it. That's maybe the one thing where I'm hesitant on it. Like, uh, everybody who works on the deck with, like, was super insistent on playing it. Like, they want to do very badly, so that was, like, the main reason. But if it was just me building the deck, I maybe would have cut it just because I felt like I was, like, not actually, like, needing it. It was more like... Like a win more kind It was of win more. Like, I only needed it needed it once in the tournament, even then I would have had game three, and the match for Salomon Great is so good that it's hard for you to lose. Like, honestly, I, okay, so you... Like, you need this when you get Lanciad and you go second, like, I guess. Like, that that's when you need it, because you can't do that much, and if you don't put up, like, this type of card, then you are going to lose. So maybe that's a good enough reason, I guess. None of the Salomon Great players... I got Lanciad once by Salomon Great. All other Salomon Great players just killed over and died. Okay, awesome. Yeah, anything else you want to say before we end off this video? Of course, yeah. Shoutouts to my sponsors, Team Game Nation. I gotta give shoutouts as well. First, uh, Dom, making all the way to the finals. Team Game Nation finals was awesome. Uh, and all my testing partners, uh, at the Mirror Mirror Layer, which is Furman and Asala. Uh, built the deck initially with... <laughs> uh, Bowden and Nishad. Uh, yes, I gotta give shoutouts to... Uh, Gunther can we made the Crusadia idea at first because I can't really take credit for coming up with it initially by myself. I just took their version and like made my twist on it. Um, shout out to everyone who supported me. All right, Jesse, congratulations on double win YCS. Very big accomplishment, man. You deserved it. Uh, next uh, national win, then world win, and then like you'll be set for life. You'll, you'll be good. Yeah. All right. You have anything else you want to say? Nuri Jersey, Team Sam, All right. collaboration. <laughs> All right, sign off. Thanks, Jesse. All right, guys, peace. I feel like Usain in the cheetah print. Talk fresh game, I don't need a minute. R.I.P. the game, shh, I need a minute. Okay, let's proceed with it. I'm in the house, got to deal with it. These bozos always sneak this, and they taking shots. I'm a keen with it. Like, no, no, this league business.